everyone! Welcome to Sweets Cafe! He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today! The tale of Cinderella and the Royal Meatballs! Oh no! Midnight! I'm out of time! I've gotta go! I'm so sorry! I loved meeting you! Wait! Ooh, the prince is making an announcement! And then after she left, I found her chef's hat, which is why I will now travel the kingdom in search of this mystery chef. Hi, sweets. Hi, Rosie. What have you got there? It's just the best cake pops Whoa. you've ever tasted in your entire life. Wow, they look sweet-licious. Can I taste one? Sure. Mm. Mm. You have to give me the recipe. Absolutely. What are you making? I'm cooking my famous meatballs. Another one down, only 499 left to go. That's a lot of meatballs. These aren't just your usual meatballs. These are spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Royal meatballs? Yep, royal meatballs. Actually, it was Cinderella's recipe. Cinderella, Cinderella. Yup. Did you know it's because of these meatballs that she and the prince got married in the end? No, 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 no. <laughs> she and the prince got married thanks to the glass slippers that she wore at the ball. Glass slippers? When have you ever seen anyone wear glass slippers? I wore glass slippers once, and let me tell you, they were impossible to walk in. Never again. Okay, fine. This is gonna be good. Tell me the real story of Cinderella. Here we go. The tale of Cinderella and the royal meatballs. Pound the table, clap your hands. Off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon. Hold on tight, we'll be there soon. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella who loved to cook. She kind of looks like me. Hmm, now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. Cinderella lived with her dad. And every night, she made amazing meals for the two of them. Cinderella's dad was kind of sensitive. He would tear up at every little thing. Voila! Roasted casserole flambe stuffed with sweet potato fritters. You've outdone yourself again. <laughs> dad, are you crying again? It's just you're so beautiful and kind, and I really love casserole. Now more than anything, Cinderella wanted to go to cooking school so she could learn to be a chef. So she sent letters to apply to every cooking class, culinary school, and apprenticeship in the kingdom. Meanwhile, Cinderella's dad was a little lonely. I'm a little lonely. So one day, he remarried. Cinderella thought that would be good news. Now she would have a new stepmother and two stepsisters to share her delicious dishes with. But she was wrong. What's your favorite type of cuisine? What kind of spices do you like? Ooh, do you prefer stainless steel or cast iron pots? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, just go get some frozen spaghetti from the store and go put it in the microwave for us. Or get some TV dinners. Those are my favorites. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. It wasn't good. Turns out they were the worst eaters in the world. Here, guys, I made some chicken nuggets like you asked for. Give me! Ew! Oh, I baked them instead of fried. Much healthier. Then I infused them with some truffle oil and sweet pepper sauce. Cinderella, start over and follow the directions on the box. They were so mean. And worse, they put ketchup on their carrots. Please be patient. Not everybody has as refined a palate as you do. At least people at culinary school will appreciate my food. One day, Cinderella's father had to go away on a business trip. I'm not going to cry because I'm going to miss you. Here, Dad. I made you a casserole for the trip. Now I'm going to cry. I love casserole. Don't worry, Cinderella. It'll just be a couple of weeks. You'll have fun with your new sisters. I love you. Let's go, children, inside to play. Cinderella, you do all the chores. All right. The next morning, some mail arrived. Howdy, miss. Lots of good news in the mail today. Looks like your daughter got accepted into all these fancy cooking schools. Congratulations. Let me know if she opens a restaurant someday. I'll be first in. Ouch. Line. Too bad, Cinderella. There's just too much work to be done at home for you to be going to some silly cooking school. 
I can't believe the evil stepmother would do something like that. It's so... Evil? That's the exact word I was looking for. Yup, but listen, something exciting is about to happen. Wait a minute, what's this? An invitation to the Royal Ball. Ah! OMG, OMG, girls, get out of here. The prince is having a competition to see who can make the tastiest meatballs in the entire kingdom. And the winner will get a private dinner with the prince, who just happens to be single. Oh, wow. I'm going to win. No way, I am. Oh, mother, did I get any responses to my applications to cooking school? I'm supposed to find out whether I got in soon. Oh, didn't you hear? The mailman hurt his finger, so he went on vacation. That's too bad. When will he come back? I think in seven years, maybe more. Now excuse me while I get ready for the ball. Weeks went by and eventually it was the night of the royal ball. My meatballs are almost done. Let me go change into my dress and we'll head out soon. Oh, Cinderella, you can't come. The house is a mess. I need you to stay home and wash the dishes. But I can clean later. This house is filthy. You need to vacuum and dust and reorganize all the furniture so the feng shui aligns. But... No buts! Get back to work! The feng shui won't align itself! This stinks! Now my meatballs are all burnt, and there are so many dishes to clean, and they're all having fun without me. I wish I had a fairy godmother to help me. I need some good luck! <laughs> Did somebody say food truck? I actually said good luck, but okay. Wait, I know you. You're Sweets from Sweets Cafe. And you must be Cinderella. How do you know my name? I got your application in the mail. You applied to be my assistant chef and learn to cook. Oh yeah, I never heard back. Our mailman is sick. He's out for seven years. Well, Sweetlicious news, I chose you. What? I got accepted? I can't believe it! Thank you! Since you never wrote back, I came to see what was wrong. My stepmother told me I never got any mail. She must have thrown it away! Sounds like you've got an evil stepmother on your hands. Yeah, I really need a fairy godmother. Well, think of me as a fairy god chef! Yes! Look at all these dirty dishes. Oh, that? No problemo. <laughs> High-powered industrial strength dishwasher! So strong, it's basically magic. Yay! Now that everything is clean, I can go to the ball. But all my meatballs got burnt. No problem! Let's cook a new batch together. First, you're gonna need this. Wow! Now let's make some spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Chef. You're welcome. Now I'll drive you to the royal ball. You should probably wear this mask so your stepmother and stepsisters don't recognize you. Good thinking. There's one more important thing. You need to leave by midnight. Why? The magic will run out? He'll turn into a pumpkin? No, you just need to make sure you're home before your stepmother gets back. I don't want to be blamed if you get grounded. Good luck in there, Cinderella. Remember, leave by midnight. Midnight, got it. Thanks, sweets. I'm so excited. Those spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs look so good. They sure do. Okay, time to start working on my sweet, delicious garlic bread. What? You can't stop now. It was just getting to the good part. <laughs> the royal contest was about to start. Yeah, that is a pretty good part of the story. Okay, here we go. So Cinderella had just arrived at the prince's royal ball where he was going to judge who made the finest meatballs in all the land. There he is, the prince. Hi there, hope you like it. I hope so too. The prince better like my meatball. I mean, I dropped it on the ground, but I cleaned it off pretty well before I put it back on his plate. Ta-da! Um, your meatballs are not balls. I want it to be creative. Our attention, everyone. The tasting will now begin. 
Hmm. Pretty adequate. Good texture, decent taste. Presentation could use improvement. Fine sauce. I give it a... A... Hmm. Hmm. I will give it a two, um, three, four. Definitely four. Four for a great effort. Is this a hair? Yeah. This wins worst dish of the ball. Mom, I won an award. 8.1 out of 10. 3.14 out of 10. Nice try. Nice texture. Excellent aroma. Hmm. This is the best meatball I've eaten in my entire life. Who cooked this masterpiece? Me. That's it. We have a winner. Come on, everyone. Let's celebrate and have a ball. That was incredible. You're quite a chef. That's why I'm going to culinary school. One day, I'll open my own restaurant. Amazing. I'll be the first in line. In fact, I, I'd like to be your partner uh, in your restaurant. Really? That would be amazing. Oh no, midnight, I'm out of time. I've gotta go, I'm so sorry. I loved meeting you. Wait. You okay? Hurry, sweet. Step on it. So tell me what happened. Did the prince like your meatballs? He loved them. I wish I could stay all night. She left her hat behind. I must find her. I really liked her amazing meatballs. And her. She doesn't end up with the prince? She's never going to become a famous chef? Hey, the story's not over yet. Don't worry. I wouldn't tell you a sad story, would I? I sure hope not. So let's find out what happened. I'm listening. What a night. Yeah, I can't believe I won an award. How could we have lost? Ouch! And who is that girl who won? I feel like I've seen her before. I know you're out there, and you deserve to be celebrated for your amazing culinary gifts and your amazing dance moves. And I still want to be your partner. Oh my, did you hear that? The prince doesn't know who the mystery girl was. So? So for all he knows, it could be one of you. When he comes to visit our house, you must convince him that it was one of you. What if it was me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Although, we do know that you're a so-called <coughs> good cook. Make some meatballs, Cinderella. And when the prince comes, my girls will pretend that they cooked them. Oh, okay. All right, girls, the prince is on his way. Now remember, when he tries to put on the chef's hat, make sure you squeeze your head into it. I don't think I can make my head skinnier. Make your head fit. Do you want to be a princess or not? Hey there. My fairy god chef senses were tingling. You need help? Yes, the prince is on his way right now. And I have to cook meatballs for my sisters to give him. Are you going to make them better? on purpose? Put in some chili powder? No, I couldn't bear to make a bad meal on purpose. Besides, if the prince is gonna eat them, I would never want him to get sick on account of me. Good for you, Cinderella. I'm proud of you. If I can't have the prince, I can at least make sure he has a delicious meal. Can you help me make those perfectly delicious meatballs again? At your service. Cinderella, give me those meatballs and then don't come out of the kitchen. Okay. So nice to see you again, friends. It is I, your mystery chef. Me too. I'm also your mystery chef. Wow, I thought there was just one. Here, give me that hat. Uh, 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 here we go. Let me try. My head's smaller. Mm, mm. Yeah, my two daughters prepared these meatballs that you love so much. These were them, the perfect meatballs. So it was one of you two. <laughs> yep, we're avid chefs. Real foodies. Really? Uh-oh. Whoops, sorry, it was an accident. What was that? Nothing. 
There's no one else here. <coughs> My throat is a little hoarse. Are you sure? Sounded like somebody is in the other room. <coughs> okay. Well, if you two are such amazing chefs, I want to see your amazing kitchen. No, don't go in there. Stop. You look familiar. <gasps> it's you! It's me! You're the one who made the royal meatballs! You're the one who loved them. Um, I had a little help. Total team effort! She's an amazing chef, and she's going to my cooking school. Cinderella? You're the mystery girl! And you're working with a monkey! Hey, lady, did you throw out an acceptance letter to a cooking school that I sent Cinderella? And on an unrelated note, did you know that opening someone else's mail is a crime? Um, gotta go. Come on, girls. You won the competition. Do you know what that means? Um, you'll be my partner? Nothing would make me happier. Let's make our plans over dinner tonight. Cinderella? Dad? I missed you so much. <laughs> And so, Cinderella and the prince had a private dinner. And it was the first of many, because after Cinderella finished cooking school, they opened a restaurant together and lived happily ever after. A happy ending. Happily ever after. Now, can I get another serving of meatballs, please? And make sure they're meatballs, not meat cubes. <laughs> One meatball dish coming your way. That was so much fun. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next story from Sweets. Bye. Time for story time games. Here we go. Let's play Spot the Difference. Can you spot all the differences in these scenes from the story? Here we go. Cinderella's dad was kind of sensitive. He would tear up at every little thing. Voila! Roasted casserole flambe stuffed with sweet potato fritters. You've outdone yourself again. <laughs> Dad, are you crying again? Hold on. Did you see something? Let's rewind. <laughs> what seems different to you? Look at this. This wasn't here before. All right, let's watch another scene. Here we Go! The best meatball I've eaten in my entire life. <gasps> Who cooked this masterpiece? Me! That's it! We have a winner! Come on, everyone! Let's celebrate and have a ball! That was incredible! You're quite a chef! That's why I'm going to culinary school! One day, I'll open my own restaurant! Amazing! I'll be the first in line! Pause! Did you see something? Rewind. <laughs> what seems different to you? Look over here. This color is different. All right, let's watch another scene. <gasps> it's you. It's me. You're the one who made the royal meatballs. You're the one who loved them. Um, I had a little help. Total team effort. She's an amazing chef, and she's going to my cooking school. Cinderella? You're the mystery girl. Wait a minute. Did you spot the difference? Let's watch that again. What seems different to you? Right over there. How did this get here? That's the last one. Did you find all of them? Nice work. Oh, it's time. It's time. It's dress up time. Dress up time for story time. Let's pretend. Let's have some fun. Trust up as no white. Let's spin the wheel. Oh no, I'm not dressed in the right clothes. Let's spin the wheel again. A dress. This is the wrong color. Let's try something else. We 
wheel again. I love this color. So pretty. I feel like a princess. What do we need next? Will you help me? Here we go. That doesn't look right. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's spin the wheel again. This is perfect. What's the last thing we need? Let's spin the wheel. This doesn't look right. Let's try something else. The outfit is complete. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Ready for my adventure now as... Snow White. Hi kids, it's time for a brand new story. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Snow White. That's me, Snow White. <laughs> it's kind of a weird name, actually. My parents were hippies, enough said. So anywho, here's my story. There was an evil queen who really had it out for me. I never did anything to her, she was just evil. So she had this magic mirror that every day told her she was the most beauteous in all the land. Then one day, I guess it had a glitch or something, but it said that I was the most beauteous in all the land. <laughs> Awkward! <laughs> so, she sent me into the woods with a huntsman. We get out here and he's like, Hey, I'm, I'm supposed to get rid of you. And I don't really want to do that. And not really my thing. I'm like a nice guy. Anyway, if you could just never return to our kingdom, that'd be great. I'm going to leave you here now. Oh, wait! I appreciate you saving me and everything, but I'll freeze! Okay, bye. Well, kids... He left me here, and I fell asleep. Next thing you know, these little guys find me, and for some strange reason, they think I'm not alive anymore. Such a shame. She looks so nice. Poor thing. Ah! Ah! She's a zombie! Oh. Guys, what? And, and, wait, who are you? I, I think I should be the one freaking out here. A am I a giant, or are you guys really small? Hey, that's not really very nice. Okay, perhaps we're a little height challenge, but we have the same rights as big people. Who, uh, frankly, I think are funny looking because they're so big. Besides, you should be nice to us because we found you in the woods and saved you. Yeah. Saved me? I was napping. I explained that I'd been kicked out of my own kingdom, never to return. And luckily, they needed a roommate. I needed a place to live, and they needed someone to reach high places. Hoi. Everything was going pretty cool with the seven little dudes. But meanwhile, back at the evil queen's place. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me, who is the fairest of them all? Well, I hate to tell you, but it's, uh, Snow White. Who? Uh, Snow White? Please don't smash me. Show me where she is. Well, then I shall get rid of her myself. So cut back to me and the seven little dudes in the woods. We were right in the middle of a sing-along when there's a knock on the door. Hello, I have a special delivery for Snow White. For me? It's my favorite kind of cupcake. A mint chocolate chip cupcake with extra sprinkles. Oh, it must be from someone who misses me. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Go get the doctor! <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Come quick! There she is! Fix her! 
poison. Luckily, I have an antidote to reverse it. Hi. Hi, yourself. Yay! Hooray! So long story short, I survived the evil queen's poison. She got arrested for all her evil deeds and has to spend the rest of her life cleaning toilets and eating dog food. <laughs> Well, I got to return to my kingdom. I wound up marrying that cute doctor, and my seven best buds came over all the time for karaoke parties and cupcakes. Uh, the non-poison kind, of course. Oh, and I got rid of that pesky mirror. It was a happy ending. Wow, that was a happy ending. Thanks so much for coming back to the library to listen to a story today, guys. So, how does this work? Do I get like three wishes or something? With the wave of my magic wand. I love it. Hi there, kids. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading Cinderella's New Family. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Ahem, that's not my real name. That's just what my mean stepsisters and stepmother call me. Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside her magic books. Cinderella's dressed in blue, Goldilocks and spinning clock. Wiggle snap, wiggle snap, everybody wiggle snap, wiggle snap, wiggle snap, wiggle snap, everybody wiggle snap. My real name is Ella. Actually, let's begin my story there. I was an only child, but I had a ton of pets. My dad was the greatest dad of all time, and our town was super neat too. One day, my dad told me that he was getting married. <gasps> okay, that's not the terrible part. Somehow, he found the meanest lady ever in the history of meanness. But it wasn't his fault, I guess, because at first she pretended to be so nice. Hello there, Ella. Do you like candy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey! Too late. You snooze, you lose. Those were my two new stepsisters, Gritzel and Unga. They never even bothered pretending to be nice. My stepsisters had a real Sukasa is Mikasa kind of attitude. In other words, they took all my stuff. I want it. Mine! Gimme! Then they said they were scared of all my animals, so scared that my dad had to banish them all to the barn outside. But what about Goldie? Come on, all she does is sit there and go. Take her away! They all have to go! I'm sorry, guys. I'll visit you. Whenever my dad was away, the step monsters would treat me like a servant. I did the sweeping, I did the windows. <laughs> I cleaned non-stop, day in and day out. <gasps> and I was a mess, always covered in dust and grime, which led to me getting a new nickname. Ew, Ella, you're all covered in cinders from the chimney. Maybe we should call you Cinder Ella. Cinder Ella. Then my dad left for this big fishing trip expedition thingy. That's when my stepmother decided I should move into the barn. It was cold and dark and a little scary, but I had my animals and that was nice. Aw, plus some field mice. Hi guys. <laughs> but I missed my old life, especially my dad. It seems like he had been gone for his fishing trip like forever. <sighs> then I heard the awful news. Extra, extra, awful news. Local dad captured by pirates. Yep, my dad had been captured by a gang of pirates. And to make matters worse, my stepmother and stepsisters didn't even seem to care. He'll be fine. Who cares? I can't worry. It gives me wrinkles. <laughs> they were the worst. Good thing I still have you guys. <laughs> that night, I had a beautiful dream. My dad was home safe and sound. My stepmother and Gritzel and Unga were nowhere in sight. Amazing. I was all dressed up. And I had the prettiest slippers. It was almost as if they were made of glass. What's all that racket? We must get to work immediately! This is so exciting! What's going on? The queen is having a ball and we're all invited. Whoa! I just had a dream that I was dressed up in a beautiful gown. <laughs> just like I was going to a royal ball. That's so funny! <laughs> I have to make a dress and my hair. 
What am I gonna do with my hair? My stepmother said I couldn't go to the ball. Well, I would just have to find a way, wouldn't I? I began preparations in secret. My stepsisters went through dresses like they were going out of style, so I had lots of material to choose from to craft a perfect gown. <laughs> Voila! The most beautiful dress in the world. Oh. One day, I was cleaning the attic when I found a box. <gasps> Shoes! These must have belonged to my mom. They were beautiful slippers that looked almost as if they were made of glass. Everything was coming together perfectly. <gasps> but it's not like the royal ball was the only thing I was thinking about. Curiously, I hadn't heard anything about my dad. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Harvey Beeswax, private investigator, at your service. Hi, Mr. Beeswax. My dad was captured by a gang of pirates. I need your help. Pirates, eh? Yes, and my stepmother said that she can't find him, but she's done diddly squat. Diddly squat? That's not enough. I know. So, do you think you can find him? It'll be tough, but I'm the best private eye in the city. If anybody can find your pop, it'll be me. When I got home, I found this. It's mine. No, mine! <laughs> Oops, I didn't like it anyway. Well, at least I still had the shoes. They didn't fit anyway. Welp, back to square one. Meanwhile, hmm, no sign of Cinderella's old man yet, but I'll solve this case. It's finally the day of the ball. Getting Gritzel and Unga ready was no small task. They required bubble baths, manicures, blowouts, Finally, my stepsisters were ready for the royal ball. You guys look really nice. Um, we know. Okay, well, have a great time. That's quite enough talk, Cinderella. Goodbye. I'll be honest, I was kind of sad. I retreated to the barn with some snacks. I know, it's pretty cliche, but I was sad, okay? And then, I don't know why, but I yelled out, Oh, if I only had a fairy godmother. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, sugar, but better late than never, right? Who are you? Your fairy godmother. I thought that part was pretty obvious. Oh, watch this. Awesome! I know, right? So, how does this work? Do I get, like, three wishes or something? With the wave of my magic wand. I love it! Uh, you won't be dancing with those tootsies. Uh, yeah, I'm due for a mani-pedi soon. Well, stick your hands out and close your eyes, my little ragamuffin love. Bippy boopy blabity boo These are the bomb! Oh, they fit perfect! <laughs> okay, I better get on my way. Oh, wait. Pretty sure the castle is like 48 miles away. That would take approximately 864 minutes if I walk, if I hustle. Cinderella, and... get it together. I'm gonna hook you up. Now go get me a pumpkin, spaghetti squash, any gourd or root vegetable ought to do. How about this? My Halloween bucket. Well, let me just get it. That'll do, I suppose. Cinderella put the bucket down, and with one more swirl of the magic wand, the bucket became a gorgeous, sparkling carriage. A carriage is kind of like a stroller, but for adults. <laughs> I am gonna look so cool riding up in this thing. <laughs> oh, well, you better get a move on. Hey, uh, who's driving this thing? My stepmother wouldn't let me go for my driver's license test. I almost forgot. You, over there. And y'all, over here. Well, we're off. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything, Fairy. <laughs> you're the bestest in all the land. Well, you're certainly welcome. This is going to be the best night of my life. Oh, no. I forgot to tell her about the midnight thing. Yoo-hoo. Cinderella. The fairy godmother caught up to the carriage and shouted after Cinderella. But clearly, Cinderella was having so much fun, she didn't even <laughs> notice. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> ah! Oh! You! Uh, you scared me half to death. Cinderella, you can't go yet. Fairy, you gotta cut the cord and let me go. I'm a grown woman. No, I mean the spell. <laughs> Say what now? At midnight, you have to be long gone from the royal ball by then. Uh, I have no intention of leaving when the party is still hopping. No, you absolutely must. 
No. You have to. No. You have to. If you don't, then all this magic will wear off. There's always a catch. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Go, enjoy yourself. Just keep track of the time. No prob. I'll set an alarm on my phone. So Cinderella <laughs> continued on her journey to the castle, super excited and super nervous to meet the prince. You guys, this is gonna be the best night ever! At the ball, Cinderella is having the time of her life. Woohoo! When suddenly she noticed two very familiar but not so friendly faces, her stepsisters. But the stepsisters didn't even notice her because they were too busy trying to vie for the prince's attention. Oh, by the way, there's the prince. Ooh, Unga, that prince is gonna love my dress. He's totes gonna dance the night away with me. No way, Grits. I'm sure he'll notice my breathtaking eyes and ask me to marry him. Oh, Princey, you look hungry. Let me fetch you a treat. No, I will. Ugh. The whole evening, the prince had been noticing the mystery girl and how happy she looked and how she was being nice to everyone and ate tons of cake without a care in the world. Whoa, she is a seriously cool chica. <laughs> of a klutz. Oh, no, no, it was my mistake. Here, let me help you out. <sighs> so, uh, this is some party. Do you, you want to dance? dance? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh wait, yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, oh my oh, gosh. gosh. <laughs> I like your crown. Thanks. I like your dress. Yeah, blue is my favorite color. No way, mine too. So next week, uh, we're having this mini golf tournament here at the palace. Do you think you want to come? That sounds awesome! So it's a date! But Cinderella didn't hear the prince because the music had gotten louder and she was feeling the beat. So loud, in fact, that she didn't hear her alarm on her phone ringing. What's that noise? Huh? What's that noise? Oh, it's just my phone! <laughs> oh no, my phone! I gotta go! Wait up! I didn't get your name! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, oh no! Wait up! Oh no! <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you, beautiful glass slipper, but I gotta go! Wait! You left your shoe! Keep it! Huh? <sighs> At least the carriage is still. Great. <laughs> And so, with one shoe, Cinderella walked all the way home. She wasn't too sad, though. I mean, guys, <laughs> the prince danced with me a ton, and I made so many friends, and I did a conga line, and the limbo, and the robot, <gasps> and I must have had like five pieces of cake. <laughs> it was the best night of my whole life. That happiness lasted all through the next morning, even though her stepsisters were being particularly annoying. The prince is going to ask me on a date. No way! We'll see who he putts with at the Royal Mini Golf Tournament. The Royal Mini Golf Tournament? I almost forgot! I hope that girl from last night doesn't go. She was the worst. <laughs> what girl? This girl's Sandy or something. She hugged the prince for like a whole hour. Gee, <laughs> yeah, I hope she doesn't show up. The big day of the Royal Mini Golf Tournament had finally arrived and Cinderella was there. Awesome, right? Not so awesome. My fairy godmother didn't show up. Meanwhile, my stepsisters are playing miniature golf with the prince. Can my life get any worse? Heads up! Ow! Oh, I guess it can. Oops. Heads up! Hey, do I know you? Eek! The prince! What do I do? Play it cool, Cinderella. Play it cool. Uh, no, not me, mate. You must have me confused with someone else. Uh, right? Yeah. What? Okay, gotta go. That couldn't have been. Or could it? Great. Just great. I blew it. Uh, princes like princesses, right? I cannot let him know that this is the real me. Hey, Cinderella. Uh, what? Uh, who's that? Cinder who? <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Beeswax. You got news about my dad? We're getting real close to cracking the case, kid. I got one of my best guys following a pirate ship as we speak. That's great. Uh, what are you doing here? Official palace business. I can't discuss it. But between you and me, the prince has got a crush. Oh, yeah. I mean, sure. Whatever. That's cool. <laughs> Who is it? That's classified, kid. But get this. He doesn't know her name. 
Go on. Says she showed up at the ball and then she just ran off. Go figure. He thought she'd be here today. But when she didn't show, he called me. So, like, what did he say about this girl? I can't really discuss it because I'm a private eye. The keyword being private. But he says she's super cool. Well, got to get back to work. She could be anywhere. She could be right under my nose. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Well, the good news is, the prince obviously totally likes me! Woohoo! <laughs> the bad news is, I have absolutely no idea what to do. Several days passed, and Cinderella had not heard any news about the prince and his mystery girl. Cinderella, I need a pedicure. Right now? Yes, now. Me too! Haven't you heard? The prince is going around to every house in the queendom to find his dream girl. Say what now? He has this shoe, and supposedly he's going to marry whoever fits into it. So like, our feet need to look good. The prince is coming here? Yeah. And one of us is going to become a princess. Yeah, me. No way, me. Fairy godmother, if there was ever a time when you need to help a sister out, it's now. The prince is here! <laughs> Let me try on that shoe. Me first. No, me. Hi, Princey. Remember me? Sure, yeah. Hi, Pretzel. It's Ritzel. Uh, looks like it doesn't fit. Sure it does. Perfect. I've never worn such a comfortably fitted shoe. <laughs> and there are no other ladies in the house? No. Nada. No siree, Bob. Wait a second. Doesn't Cinderella live here? She lives in a barn. She's totally yuck. Nah, she's a lovely girl. I'll get it for you, Prince. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Mr. Beeswax. The Prince wants you to try on a shoe. He's still after that mystery girl. OK. Oh, now I really, really, really wish I had my fairy godmother. Hey, you look awfully familiar. Yeah? <laughs> I'm, um, uh, supposed to try on a shoe? Try not to stick it up. Well, what do you know? It fits! It's you! O-M-G! No way! Sorry I'm late, Cinderella, but your fairy godmother is at your service. <gasps> I'm so, so, so sorry, honey. I've been at a fairy magic conference and these trolls crashed the party and it was just a huge old mess. Anyway, what's up? Oh, that's the prince, over there. <gasps> oh, he's cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at me. Now he knows I'm not a princess, this is terrible. And now with a wave of my magic wand, I will transform raggedy ragamuffin Cinderella here into a beautiful Beautiful princess. Finally. <laughs> Wait. Huh? You don't have to change a thing. Cinderella, I like you for you. You don't need a fancy dress or shoes. Hold up. Uh, that's really nice and everything, but if my fairy godmother wants to hook me up with some new duds, then I'm a letter. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Okay, fairy godmother, work your magic. Bloopity blabadoo. So it was you the whole time, huh? Right under my nose. Oh, don't worry. You're still my favorite private investigator. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. With all the shoe trying on hubbub, I forgot to tell you. We found your dad. You did? Yeah, my guy called me this morning. He's on the ship of Pirate Krusty Beard. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's go rescue Cinderella's dad from the pirates. <laughs> Arg! what are you doing on my ship? We're here to save my dad, you crusty old pirate. My girl. Dad. Who are you guys? Harvey Beeswax, private eye. I'm her fairy godmother. I'm the prince, and may I just say, I like your daughter, sir. Zippity, zamaboo, ta-ta, and bye-bye. When we got home, Beeswax put my evil stepmother in the slammer. Turns out, she hired the pirates to take my dad. So evil, right? Anyway, it was pretty much everybody lived happily ever after fairy tale kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, and we decided to let my stepsisters stick around, but they were a lot nicer now that I was a close personal friend of the prince. <laughs> they even started doing their share of the chores. The end. Cinderella and the prince lived happily ever after. Story time.